Hi friends, today I am going to explain how to calculate um, end of month uh, calculation. So let me drag order date to the rows and right click and choose month and again right click and choose discrete. So now we have month of order date. Let me drag order date again to the rows and right click and choose exact date and right click again and choose discrete so now we have month of order date and order dates so we are going to get uh, the last date of the every month so for suppose in january it is 31st 1 2017 in february it is 28 2 2017 so like that for every month we are going to get last date of every month okay so right click and create a calculation and name it as end of month date so I will explain the calculation in multiple steps first um, to the order date I am going to add uh, one date plus one so we use date add function to add date or any in, in, in number of days I am going to use day as a date part comma interval one comma order date so click ok and let's see what what is the output here drag to the rows right click and choose exact date and right click again and choose discrete so if you see the end of month um, here in january it is 31st 1 2017 but our calculation gives the output the next month first date so if we go and see for every month so again it's the each order date we have the first of month date so we will make use of this logic and we will extract the day from this one and uh, we will convert it as a boolean function to get the last date so right click and edit the calculation So if day, if we extract the day from this calculation, it will return 1. So every month at the end of the date, we have the first month of next month. So I am going to extract 1 from, the, uh, from this date. So if it is equal to 1, then we can say it is the end of month. So if it is true then we need order date and then click ok so if you see uh, only the last date of every month is written in our calculation so in the view if you just want only the end of month um, you can just remove this calculation and drag end of month calculation to the end date change end of date special and choose non null dates and then click ok now i hope uh, you understand how to write this calculation please do let me know if you have any suggestions or queries in the comment section thanks for watching please do subscribe